Uh, right, we're uh, going to do something a little bit different. This is a, another nocturnal scene. Might be seen as quite challenging. Um, so a scene like this is all to do with mood. So, so, um, so you know, there's not a lot to get hold of. So what I tend to do in painting this sort of thing is uh, keep it as simple as possible. So I simplify all the tones, um, get our centre of interest in, as always, first. And um, here, to tone is everything on this, really. You know, if the, if the tonal arrangement isn't uh, isn't any good, then uh, then it, it's a fail, I'm afraid. But it, it I, it's quite challenging because if there if there really isn't anything uh, too much to get hold of, because um, you, you tend to get a bit lost. So I need to be very systematic and um, and quite quite organised. So I I put the lightest in first and and then put the darkest in. Uh, so I've got my two extremes. Accuracy isn't, isn't greatly important in this sort of painting. But we've just got to get this um, flow of tone across. And, uh, and it won't, um, the image won't necessarily uh, make much sense for quite a while. Uh, and uh, until you've got it blocked in, you can't really see what you're going, where you're going. And, and everything needs to be simplified down as much as you possibly can, which is easy said to done, because you just want to see complicatedness, really. Right, that's the darks. So they'll need a, a refresh, but that's um, that's enough to to get them uh, placed. And uh, my, I would I would then be pretty organised. I, I would be pretty organised. So I I will I will go for the next tone, um, whether that the, the, there's most of. Uh, which I think is this this, this greeny colour here. And this green is strange because uh, I know very well that this is a red house, but it needs to be a, a, a warm green to, if, we're, if we're going to get the um, effect of the light and the glow, you know, the, the transitory moment that we're trying to paint. Uh, and uh, I am not really not trying to be terribly accurate because uh, it doesn't mean a lot to be, to be accurate on this sort of thing, really. I try and uh, if I've got a colour on the go, I try and do you know every every part that is that colour. And in a moment, we're going to look at what all these things actually are. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what some of these things are. I, I'm deliberately not looking at the full colour version because I, I sort of don't want to see what the objects are really because that it does, does tend to put you off. There we go. Weird and wonderful. You can sort of see what everything is now. Um, so my next move would be to do a little bit of drawing to. Uh, you know, define define what these things actually are. And now we're now what we're doing essentially is uh, softening edges, making it all all merge in. And the thing is not to uh, not to put in things you can't see. So the next thing I need to get in, I need to know how bright these headlights are going to be. And uh, the headlights because the 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 pic. The image on screen, um, uh, you can still have colour in the, uh, but uh, in reality, um, in reality, these have to be um, full, um, full colour, because we literally just don't have the um, range of tones available um, in paint to do it. So, uh, and now I need to get a few <coughs> of the bits of structure in here. Not many bits of structure, so uh, I quite like this um, this um, line in the road here. is rather nice. Uh, it sort of defines the uh, direction and the perspective as well. And we're nearing the point where we've got such a lot of paint on. We'll break and uh, come back to it tomorrow. And uh, the uh, thick paint will have uh, set off a little bit. Okay, so we're... Uh, a day later, and everything looks to have uh, hardened up a bit. So uh, it shouldn't take too many stages to uh, to finish this. I'll do a quick assessment as to where I got to. Right. So I think we'll start with some we we'll start with some drawing. I do find it a little bit difficult to uh, to uh, step back into a painting, even after a, even after a day or so. Uh, you sort of not entirely sure of um, of where you left off. 
headlight glow is in the, in there and it's also uh, in this little step in the wall here and that little step there is is rather nice actually I quite like that just adds dimension to everything which uh, is a good thing really the the difficult thing to paint in this painting is uh, this road here so uh, <clears throat> so that's going to be my my last focus on that I think Okay, that is looking a little bit more uh, coherent. And we need a little bit of um, structure in this wall. And now we actually do have a hint of the roof of the car in here, uh, which I think I might um, I might exaggerate a little bit. And I think I have to bite the bullet here. I've uh, got the tones around the car good enough. They're, um, they're uh, two, and I think I'm going to have to abandon the, um, the, the photographic glow in there. I don't think it's helping anything, really. And also... <clears throat> we're not dark enough around the car so uh, we'll uh, we'll bring the darkness in around it because without um, strength here uh, we're never going to uh, get the effect of the car coming along and that's already better and that's a lot better now I don't much like the highlight on the top of the car yet but I think we'll leave leave that at this point so we've got another car but this one doesn't want to be too defined and we'll just do a little bit of drawing on the front here right we're very close now the uh, there's a few bits worrying me that might have to be come back to surprising now that has uh, improved that a great deal a very few simple very simple strokes just it just really needs a bit of cool to make the uh, warms pop and there we have it a nighttime scene i hope that was uh, fun and interesting but uh, okay thank you very much